You're listening to the Sans Pants Network. Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Plumbing the Death Star. I'm Joel. I'm Jackson. And I'm also Joel. Plumbing the Death Star, as you will find out, is a comedy and pop culture podcast where we ask the important questions. Uh, mm. Like, uh, yeah. how would you use an ape mm. to solve a crime? Worth noting. Uh-huh. Let's, get, let's get this out the way straight uh-huh. away. Yep. Uh-huh. We were like, what we do today? What yep. question? Yeah. Like, Joel do show. A propos nothing. <laughs> Sat back in this chair and I went, how would you use an ape to solve a crime? And we said, hit. Question. And then Jackson Recall. said, <laughs> and then Jackson said, what? And I said, you know, like in movies. <laughs> and then you said, shut up. <laughs> Save it for the episode. Let's go. So I, first, we got, okay. I got a couple of questions. Uh-huh. uh-huh. What do you mean? <laughs> and what are yeah. you saying? <laughs> yeah, I have a follow-up question of what? <laughs> huh? It's so simple. Okay. okay. Think Turner and Hooch, <laughs> <laughs> but Hooch is okay. Coco think, the gorilla. <laughs> think Turner and Hooch, but an ape. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, okay. Is it a police okay. ape? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. so just a police. Is it a, is it a police ape, a detective ape, or just an ape who has like I don't know a chip on his shoulder? Yeah. Okay. So let's say okay. uh, is Hooch a detective dog? Um, there is no such thing as a detective <laughs> dog. Uh, wait, what's that? No, isn't there like a like a German series? I oh, uh, <laughs> Inspector Prod Rex. No, it can't be Inspector Rex. It is Inspector Rex. It is, it is Inspector, Inspector Rex. Rex. You've got the I machine. Know, I got a big machine. Medium in front of me. machine. <laughs> yeah, he's actually like medium machine. I'll let you just undercut him there. Big machine, <laughs> medium. <laughs> medium. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Rex. He's Inspector Rex. Is yeah, he a detective right. dog? He's a yeah. he trained police dog. Yeah. Okay, but he's not a detective. <laughs> Uh, a cop is recently divorced, sad, and to fill the void, he adopts a police dog, uh, who also lost his companion. Oh, that's oh, nice. That's nice. They're finding each They're other. Fi- after yeah, such and loss. then solving crimes. I Rex has eighteen understand. seasons. Yeah, it's a big show. Damn. Uh, Turner, Turner, Tur- 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 and Hooch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh huh. Has like two, two, two. Uh-huh. Has a movie and a television series. I could series. not get that yeah. out. I was too excited. <laughs> Turner and Hooch has one film, and yeah. then I no, believe two films, doesn't it? Uh, Turner yeah, and Hooch, and then Turner and Hooch two, and I then the TV show. Say there's two yeah. films. There's also K nine with the the worst Belushi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh wait, no, None that doesn't help my apes. case. <laughs> that doesn't help my case. Can you there's look not up a sequel to Turner and Hooch? Well, is there? I'm, I don't know. I'm looking at what the plot of Turner and Hooch was. <laughs> a television Bunny movie Cuff. sequel. Fuck. Yeah. yeah, there you go. What about the TV show? Ah, in- oh, Scott Turner's an investigator, a police investigator. Okay. Okay. Well, what? Guess, okay. okay. To, yeah. to move to apes. No. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. about the TV show where a guy is a trucker and he has a chimpanzee companion? What? It might be called. Oh yeah. Go uh-huh. on. Okay. Trucker. Red truck. Chimpanzee. <laughs> red. <laughs> red truck. I would said? not. Put red truck in. Just put red. Is it BJ and the bear? It's BJ and the bear. <laughs> the chimp's name is maybe Blowjob. <laughs> I don't know. Or is the chimp the bear? The chimp. That's a chimp. You can't call a chimp you a bear. Call it, you can call. You can call a dog bear. You can call. So you're calling a man a bear, but you refuse. My to call brother an had a bear. duck named the emu. So fair enough. Yeah. Well, the guy's name uh, is Greg BJ. Evergan is BJ McKay. So clearly, the, the bear, the bear. <laughs> must be the chimp. That's absurd. Yeah. Well, I was thinking also like maybe like a Dunstan checks in situation, but rather than being a jewelry mm-hmm. thief, okay, he's yeah. a detective. He's yeah. So detective rather than com- committing, chimp. rather than committing crimes, he's solving them. I reckon there's also probably apes in cartoons that help. McGill a gorilla? <laughs> he works in a, or lives in a yeah, pet store. Yeah, there's probably apes that help. Grape ape? There's probably apes that I would say yeah. there's apes that help. Yeah. Maybe grape ape, but no. no. Grape uh, ape's in the Olympics, isn't he? He's huge. He's Laugh Olympics. The Laugh ape Olympics. from George in the Jungle? He seems pretty smart. Are there crimes in the jungle? There's jungle crimes, crimes. everywhere. <gasps> okay, yeah. This world is a filthy place. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I guess they're stopping, like, I don't know, the guy that was hunting. Poaching's poaching, a crime. See? I guess yeah. they're stopping that. Yeah. Okay, well, then what's the... Cr- okay, so, if we were to accept the premise. Yes. <laughs> so, you're, it's your fourth 
weak on the force. Oh, we're cops. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're, that's you're the okay. whole thing I've been saying. You have been listening. I was unclear. You started saying Grape Ape, so I don't know, man. <laughs> grape Ape is not a cop. He's just an ape of unusual size. I'm going to throw up. I'm so upset. <laughs> You weren't listening. Every okay. example I gave was okay. a cop thing. And then I said, reverse Dunstan checks in. That wasn't a cop. Dunstan checks in is not a cop. He no, said reverse. Not. He said reverse. I reverse, said reverse of a criminal is a cop. Okay, fair enough. And also, I said those words. I was yes. like, in reverse, yeah, so he's did, a cop you instead you of a you criminal. Did, you did, you did. It... Yeah, Turner and Hooch, BJ and the Bear. All no, cops BJ and the Bear wasn't me. No, it wasn't. That was true. me. That was BJ and the Bear is a trucker and his pet. They go around America getting various adventures and misadventures on the way. Maybe I've got to be watching BJ and the Bear. That's all going to be watching BJ. In the bear. Yeah. Uh, bad news episodes are one hour long. Too long. Yeah. Uh, what about the TV show? You just reminded me of some chimp facts. Oh, yeah. The TV show uh, Lancelot Link, Secret Agent Chimp. Look it up on your little machine. Well, that's getting closer to what I'm talking about. There's an about. awesome story about Lancelot Link. So basically, the way that it's not a good TV show, the way they did it is they would just dress up the chimps in different clothes and then they would film them and then dub over yeah, lines. For that's the awesome. Now, there's one story <laughs> yeah. about. They were filming. <laughs> they were, oh, he's eating spaghetti. They, so this was like in the yeah. There's a chimp eating there spaghetti. You go. So they were. Like, it was like it was like get smart. Yeah. But they were chimps. And there's one story where, because it was like the 1970s, there was no rules where they were filming in like a forest somewhere. Yeah. And the chimp, I think, was dressed like a Roman centurion mm. or something. Yeah. There's one where he's playing cards, like what we often do. That's mm. true. They're just like us. They are. Just anyway, like for real. The chimp got loosed. Mm. <laughs> oh, this one has a little hat on and a mustache. Yeah. Oh no. Well, there was a villain. How does a, a chimp have a mustache? <laughs> and let me tell you, they have nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this chimp gets loose in the you forest, dressed like a Roman centurion. <laughs> it's a chimp holding dynamite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is the show bad? No, well, it's bad because the chimps suffered. Uh, <laughs> anyway. They look so happy in these photos. He's on the phone. He's telling the future. A <laughs> chimp gets loose in the jungle, in uh -huh. the forest. And this is just like a forest in America. Yeah. They're like, we've lost the chimp. They lose him for like three, four hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then... This hippie guy comes out of the forest holding the hand of the chimp, and he's like, I was just sitting at my camp smoking a J, and a little chimp dressed like a man <laughs> came out of the woods and sat with me. Imagine! <laughs> That's awesome. The chimp, I would be talking to it. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, you want some? I don't know. Is this good? What's going what would on, What happen chimp? if he gave a chimp a cigarette? Well, they, they know to smoke. They know. They, they know how to smoke. smoke. Chimps know how to smoke. That's one of them jazz cigarettes. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Well, okay, yeah. so... We're, uh -huh. uh, Joel Zaman's still looking at photos of Lancelot Link. Yeah, I need to stop. Uh, because <laughs> one of them you scroll past with a chimp looking surprised. Yeah. Yeah. As in the background, there was the Mona Lisa, but with a chimp's head. Yeah. <laughs> I need to stop looking at that because I, I will then watch that whole scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'll immensely enjoy it. And then I'll remember that the terrible things that I'm like, oh. I think the chimps are in a band too. They stop play making it really, really <laughs> enticing. You're really, you're selling it so much. I know. It's so, it sounds it's the best. so good. But can't you, the whole time you're watching it, you're like, that guy's about to be in the jungle. He should, he should, he should be playing the chimps. guitar. Ah, damn but, it. but how funny! <laughs> what if they just wanted to act? If what you if? find, if you go to the zoo and you just put a guitar down, yeah, yeah and the chip plays it, that's no crime. Yeah, exactly. It's no one's fault but God's. Exactly. Again, but if you're cracking a whip over them to play the guitar, <laughs> play the guitar, mm -hmm. chip. Yeah, there's well, there's that there's that uh, uh, that zoo that's like please stop showing um, our chimps YouTube videos oh, that's and true. because the chimp loves it too much. <laughs> You know, there's those chimps that you love. The, the the chimp that eats or drinks Gatorade. <laughs> I you know? love that chimp. Uh, I'm learning a lot about chimps recently. <laughs> yeah, uh, like little, little factoids. I love one I found was about um, they love to watch TV. That's it was this awesome. like uh, zoo that like they put it on and they they the chimps they love to watch <laughs> uh, like a documentary of like their own zoo oh. and so they were loving watching the behind the scenes stuff and That's then when awesome. like the their vet came on screen yeah. oh they hated <laughs> that vet they were hooting and hollering but badly like booing that man yeah isn't it crazy to imagine watching television so imagine so. Mm. Us to chimp. Yeah. The yeah. chimp is watching our TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, imagine we are in the chimp 
strata uh-huh. to a, a being that is a chimp's height <laughs> greater than us. Yeah. But you're watching its TV of you. Yeah. With your human understanding, which is a bit. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a whole great element of it you're not getting. Uh-huh. What a crazy thing. To- exactly. They're like, that's my street. Mm-hmm. I know that street. And they show your doctor. And you're like, fuck that doctor. <laughs> I hate <laughs> him. I fucking hate that guy. Get this him out shit. of here. <laughs> How dare he diagnose me with itchy throat. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go reverse though I want to watch chimp TV oh, oh yeah, yeah. Let like, t- like let chimps make TV yeah, for chimps yeah, and then like, show it to me like yeah TV written and directed by chimps for chimps <laughs> yeah, mm. that yeah would give be, me that oh, that would be awesome that would be awesome anyway what do so, they want <laughs> what's a chimp what want to say not the doctor <laughs> no they hate the doctor <laughs> yeah. they hate that man they want that man dead yeah so anyway, in the 80s yeah. and 90s, there's a trope of like, if you're a cop and you get paired with an unlikely partner. You an animal partner, sidekick. It's and then sometimes yeah. they give you an animal sidekick. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. in this instance, yeah, sure. I was thinking apes, even though dogs are far more common. Yeah. And I'm just trying to figure out how would you use that ape to solve a crime? Okay. Like, what's an ape good at that Can will I help? pick the ape? Yes. I, I don't uh, mean specific apes. I'm not picking Harambe. Yeah. <laughs> I say like Google apes that solve crime, and the first one I got was ten cuddly apes who committed vicious crimes. <laughs> That's the trick. Of- That's the opposite of what I wanted. Google. Uh, do you reckon the Coco uh, sexual harassment case yeah. will be listed? It'll be there. there. Yeah, It'll probably, be there. Probably. So yeah, can I pick the species of ape? Yeah. Mm. Okay, because I probably pick a gorilla. Yeah. And I can use that as muscle. Yeah. Because I think if I'm getting close to solving the case, say I'm doing classic detective shit, mm-hmm. and I'm like, uh, you know, the person comes to me, they're like, my husband's cheating on me. I need you to catch them in the act. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, if it's just me, and I'm in the car watching, and I'm at the motel, and I'm just doing a stakeout, <laughs> and the husband opens the blinds and sees me, I'm fucked. Yeah. He's pulling me out of the car and making me eat the curve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would rather kill a man than have my wife, sus- my wife's suspicion. That yeah. I'm cheating on her, which are true confirmed. Yeah. I got two scenarios there. I eat the curb, but they go to that big ice machine yeah. and they just beat the shit out of me with bags of ice. Just but fill if up a they suck go- with ice, yeah, that kind of works. If the guy opens the blinds and he sees me in the f- driver's seat and then Looking a gorilla, up, uh, gorilla. <laughs> he's gonna be like, I'm not gonna mess with that man. Uh-huh. And then we can take photographs of him or whatever, or shake okay. him down. So, <laughs> so the problem here is you. In your car, which you can't drive. Uh, that girl is driving. <laughs> are, are also, in a very confined environment with a gorilla. Yeah. I thought me and the gorilla were partners. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. but like, like, you picked the gorilla. Where'd is you it get it still from? A... <laughs> okay, I have to explain where I, I guess... got the gorilla from. Yeah, I, I got it from a service. <laughs> A service? They yeah. hire out gorillas. Is this, yeah, I, he's a, an ex-circus gorilla. Yeah, I, I guess as the person proposing this question, yeah. yeah, I guess we have to find out where, one, what yeah. crime. Yeah, uh, murder. <laughs> okay. Okay. And two, what chimp? Yeah. Or what ape, sorry. So I think it's BYO ape. BYO ape. Okay. But let's assume okay, that BYO A. Yeah. Yeah. BYO A. Okay. Uh, and let's assume that it's you've got to solve a murder because that's classic detective TV sure, show situation. Sure. And let's say that the ape won't just immediately turn on you. <laughs> okay. So Jackson can be in a car with his gorilla. Oh, okay. But okay. it is still an ape. So <laughs> when exposed to... Okay. So I couldn't be like, uh-huh. uh, you know, if I bring this gorilla, let's call him Mr. Bojangles. Yeah. <laughs> Ex-circus gorilla. I love Mr. Bojangles. Cigarette smoking yep. extraordinaire. Yeah. That's what he used to do in the circus. Okay. I bring him in and there's a gunfight. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's a chance Mr. Bojangles will squeeze me so hard my head pops off like a like uh-huh. a rock'em sock'em robot. Okay, look. Because he's scared mm-hmm. of the loud noises. Yeah. I'm liking Mr. Bojangles. I like that he's, I like that he's smoking. Yes. Because that way, if I'm, I say, a, a cop, detective, investigator, whatever, yeah. I'm getting at least some secondhand smoke yes. from that. It's keeping you ape, charged up. It's keeping me charged up. And, ma- and maybe that's like helping me get over my smoking mm. addiction, which I, I clearly have. Absolutely. Uh, it's very and easy. that will help me on the straight and narrow to try and solve this Keep crime. Keep you off the cigarettes. Uh, I can also solve the crime. I can't stop imagining him doing that. You know that thing people do yeah. where they... They like breathe out the cigarette smoke, but immediately inhale it through their yeah, nose. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, my gorilla is doing that. He's not my gorilla. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's the services. I got uh, it from a service. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess um, if it is inviting on like, or if it's like I'm undercover trying to um, <laughs> undercover, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. To investigate this. It's it's all the way to the top. This, it uh, is. This crime, whatever, it right? is very hard yeah. to. 
Someone's killed the commissioner's son. Oh, oh, no. No. oh wow, where is this a lot? There's a lot running on this case. So if I have to go undercover, say, and maybe I need to do certain illicit substances, I can palm that off to the gorilla. <laughs> They've got a bigger heart, right? They okay. can handle it. So you're imagining this in some way involves the drug trade. I don't and know you're going undercover as, say, some guy named Spike. I'm, <laughs> I'm Spike, and this is my uh, <laughs> ape, Mr. Bojangles. <laughs> okay. He doesn't need the cover. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, hey, we think you might be a cop. And you're like, I'm not, I'm not. And they pull out a bump of cocaine, yeah. and they're like, prove it. And you're and like, Mr. Like, Bojangles, Mr. you're uh, yeah. I mean, if I was a cop, would a cop let an ape do cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely irresponsible. I was going to say, that's the funniest way of like, all right, cop, <laughs> do this drug. <laughs> this expensive drug. Oh, again? That all right. no one ever has a bad time with. Okay. I think if you give oh, a, He did that bump. I not think a he's cop. a good guy. Mm. Are you going to palm everything off to the gorilla? Oh, if they're like, okay, well, kill this man. I'm just trying to... Oh, try, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, if you need right, to kill. Go go gorillas don't have consciences. <laughs> That's true. Do you think? Oh, no, do you know how like a gorilla? This is how gorilla night one s- sleeps like a rock. Yeah. They wakes up the next day, pulls the arms off a man and yeah. eats its head. So that night, same beautiful <laughs> sleep. I guess yeah. Gorilla has no sense of right or wrong. Right or wrong. They're not a moral creature. Yeah. No. Sure. Yeah. I would say actually gorillas are immoral creatures. Yeah. But a gorilla can feel sad, right? Yeah. yeah. When Robin Williams dies, yeah. they get sad about that. So they, know, <laughs> they know about Robin Williams, but they can't feel sad. Well, I guess they don't know the guy they're tearing yeah. apart. So yeah. That's There's fair compelling enough. evidence for moral behavior in primates, particularly the great apes. Well, I don't like that we've got a bad one then. <laughs> I don't like that we can have a, a morally good or a morally bad gorilla, we got a bad one. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. okay. That a, feels like I'm going to get betrayed by this gorilla. So you out. <laughs> There's a study <laughs> no. called Wild Justice, the Moral Lives of Animals. <laughs> but what does awesome. the morality Actually, of a gorilla look I, like? Great question. I, like, don't I don't know. Like how we all want to watch ape TV. <laughs> I want to watch like TV, by an ape that's exploring what it means <laughs> to be a good ape yeah. in a bad ape world. Well, how well, good would law and order gorilla be? <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Ape solving ape crimes. Well, what's an ape crime? In yeah, the we, jungle, yeah. you're a group of gorillas. What's something somebody in that group could do that would piss you off? Murder? <laughs> Steal m- m- your, like, or like, uh, muscle in on your territory? Okay. Yeah, like a guy yeah. comes in, fucks your wife. Yeah. yeah. Is that a gorilla? But well, is that no, a gorilla uh, crime or that oh, gorilla society? It's, a, it's, it's gorilla society, right? It's like the, the silverback gorilla, like the old silverback yeah. gorilla that's like, oh, I'm getting asked from my, you know, yeah. Mm. Time for me to wander away and I wander around. Yeah. And then he goes to a new new place with, like, and then he goes to the, uh, the, the gorilla in charge and he's like, look, I'm an old gorilla. Yeah. I'll just be here, be an old gorilla. I'll help and just chill. I'm of and no out and hunt, I'm just going to be here chilling, mm. eating berries, doing nothing, and when you're away, I'm going to fuck all your wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you yeah, don't yeah. know this. I'm That's just going to be eating, hanging here, chilling, doing your, doing your wives. Doing your wives. What was that last bit? No. Doing your wives. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to be fucking your wife. Sorry, let me explain this to you. Do you, do I, do you, you understand sign language? I'll do it in that. <laughs> I am going to fuck your wife. <laughs> me fuck <laughs> your wives. wives. Hey, uh, other male gorillas, can we have a chat? <laughs> I don't know if I like the new guy. I don't know if I like his energy. I might kill him. I might kill him. I might tear, his, tear him apart. Yeah, you, might, wanna, you wanna join me? I might kill him with this rock I found. <laughs> I might commit the first ape murder. The first I mean, one. Apes murder. Apes, apes kill each other. This apes will be already a murder. Had <laughs> <laughs> this is premeditated. Can apes premeditate? Well, there's those mm. chimps that have chimp wars. <laughs> Tell me more about these chimpanzees. There's a thing that they found in like sections of jungle mm. that are full of chimpanzees. Yes. That the chimpanzees have different territories. Yeah. Mm. And that some chimpanzees, in, in an effort to expand their territory, engage mm. in what they're calling at least war with other chimpanzee groups. Cool. So they're doing war. Huh. That's okay. premeditated. You're like, yeah. I want that territory. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, there's a certain ape that steals dogs and. Is yeah, that's, that's a, a, a uh, is it a mandrill? The yeah, worst the ape there worst. is. <laughs> <laughs> mandrills are fucked Fuck up. Mandrills, yeah, man. Dude. Oh, they're terrifying. Yeah. Horrible, horrible creature. Absolutely I like the disgusting. fact that they steal dogs, though. Yeah, yeah they steal dogs and like they're just like, this is my dog now. Yeah, they kidnap puppies, and so then they and they they're like, this is now my dog, and then they teach that dog to be like, protect us. What the fuck? They raise dogs? They raise dogs! I that's guess that's a, a dog crime, not an ape crime. Uh, also, it's your animal. Yeah. It was baboons, not me. Oh, baboons, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. That's scary because that feels like that's like a very human thing to do to raise dogs. Yeah, mm. it stresses me out. Mm. It stresses me out to imagine <laughs> do if you reckon we... in our lifetime monkeys like apes will take the next step and just become guys. No, well, they're they're still in babies, being like, well, if we still want them and we train just that. raise it, make a baboon boy. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon I could have been a, been a baboon boy. You could have been, been a baboon boy. I reckon boy. I would have been a good baboon boy. I think. I being... reckon my life would be more fulfilled if I had been raised by baboons. You would certainly have point. less threats. Yeah. Other baboons. Yeah. You'd have more threats. You'd no, have no. Shelter. The main threat would be other baboons. <laughs> yeah. The elements. And I guess scientists. <laughs> Do you think going he... to try and like you know study me? Do Leave think... me alone. Would you have existential threats if you were raised by baboons? Give me an existential threat. Well, right now you might think, I've not done enough with my life. Mm. If you're raised by baboons, you're thinking, I hope I don't die. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you'd probably be thinking, yeah. I've done too much with my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Would I, I guess, yeah, would I, I'd still have, like, man thoughts, but would I have, like, man thoughts if they were filtered through baboon? Yes, I think you would. Yeah, it would be, like, man thoughts filtered through baboon. Yeah, so, like, but are you thinking, like, man, I'm getting on in life. You know, I haven't achieved everything I want. Or are you thinking hey, banana, well, banana, <laughs> apple, or, banana? Yeah. Yeah. Or when I get to like, you know, like puberty, like yeah. 15, you're like, baboon dad, how come I'm not attracted <laughs> to any of <laughs> <laughs> I wish yeah. I could talk to you without yeah. you just screaming, <laughs> baboon dad. Like, why am I not attracted to all the <laughs> other any baboons around here? Also, and he dad, hits you with a big bone. <laughs> <laughs> dad, why can I talk English? <laughs> when did I learn English? When did I learn this, dad? Why have I not realized you don't understand yeah. me yet? I guess I am dad, fucked up. I was raised by baboons. Life's so hard, Dad, and you don't understand. Yeah. You just keep hitting me with your big bone. I'm sorry, baboon dad. I'll do better next time. Baboon huh? mom, I wish baboon dad wasn't so hard. <laughs> oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> you are all yeah. baboons. Baboon sister, do you have any <laughs> thoughts about, I don't know, this way, you know, why are parents such, I don't know, why are they so mean to me? It's good to be, <laughs> why do all of my baboon family have bones? Why do they all have one big bone to hit me with? <laughs> it would fuck you up, say you're raised bone, by baboons, yeah. right? Yeah. And then, you've, you've, you're raised by baboons for a long time, say you're mm -hmm. 18. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, people find you. Yeah. Yeah. Take you into human civilization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine... Trying to adapt back yeah. when your brain's full of baboon thoughts. Yeah. I guess there are wolf kids. They do all right. It's wild the amount of kids. I'm assuming there's like 50 that have been raised by wolves. It happens all the time. And well, another surely it's easier to get raised by a baboon than a wolf. I there think the trick is that a baboon will eat you. There, I think there's a, there is already a baboon boy. Oh my god, Whoa! baboon boy is real. <laughs> there's baboon a man boy confirmed. There's a man living my best life. Wait, he's still doing it. I, I don't know. Here. I'm reading. I'm reading. I'm reading. Okay, Holy okay, okay. shit, uh, yeah, baboon, baboon boy is baboon real. Boy. Takes rank as the only child known to have been raised by uh, infrahuman primates. Apes or monkeys? That's mm. crazy. Huh? Raised by baboons. Mm. That's yeah. That's is this that's... the story of Lucas the Baboon Man? What was this going on? Lucas the Baboon Man. I would not have expected his name to be Lucas. Did Don't the, know what that's about. Did the about. baboons name him? <laughs> I guess not. Well, mm. The baboons would have had some noise to identify him. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I feel, I feel this has gotten away from <laughs> us. <laughs> so I'm solving a crime with an yes. ape. Mm -hmm. It oh. is. Yeah. Uh, BYOA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. BYOA. So, uh, yeah, we're picking a big gorilla. Yep. The murder is of the senator's son. No, the commissioner's, <laughs> commissioner's son. son. Okay, it's a lot right. So it goes right, right to the top. Yep. Okay, is now it... Zamet's yeah. strategy. I'm just trying to think. It's give <laughs> cocaine to the gorilla. I'm just trying to think, is there anything. Mr. Bojangles. I think you're going to rock him, sock him, roll oh. if you do that, dude. <laughs> I'm just thinking, is there anything that an ape can do better than, say, just a clever person? <laughs> uh, what can an yeah, ape brute do? strength. Yeah. <clears throat> so, like, if you need to burst through a door. Yeah, but we <laughs> have tools you, for that. If you, yeah, but what makes a better <laughs> entrance? Drilling a hole in a door, I'm and everyone's like, like whoa. A... One of the oh, battering yeah. rams. Yeah, but even a battering ram means like six guys. What's not the just scenario one guy. where I'm battering through the door? Yeah. Hey, it's the police. We got a warrant. Oh, so we found the guy? Maybe. We've got a warrant <laughs> to check this house. Okay. <laughs> I Open would... up. Bang, 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 bang. Um, bang, 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 bang. We're yeah. coming in. <laughs> can, I, <laughs> can I use maybe like a, like a, I don't know, like a, like a, a capuchin? Okay, Something sure. Something real cute, easy to kind of maybe mm -hmm. manage. I don't know. But maybe there's a judge that I maybe need a warrant uh, from, and maybe he like uh, apes okay. and chimps, and maybe he'll be more lenient and give me the thing that I need. 
um, for a time with said uh, chimp on his shoulder. So, yeah, you asked the chimp to go get You're a bribing warrant. the judge with a chimp. No, <laughs> I'm just saying, um, Mr. Judge what? person, hey, yeah. uh, we need a warrant. And I, I hear you love chimps. Yeah. I happen to have... Uh, have you met my of, partner, little, little Bojangles? Little Bojangles. <laughs> Would you like little Bojangles to scurry around on top of your head and sit on your shoulder for a bit? I don't uh, think I'd like a monkey on my head. I think it would be Shoulders, wonderful. all right, head, no. I've had a monkey on my body before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> it, was when when I, it, was when? I, it was when I was in Morocco. Okay. And I had a monkey on... Uh, no, I met a man who had a monkey on a rope. Uh, uh. <laughs> the monkey look happy? It looked like a monkey. I don't think it was happy, but it was just like a monkey. And anyway... The monkey scurried across the ground and then up my leg and yeah. onto my shoulder. Now, at the time, for reasons I cannot recall, I had a feather in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking had a feather in your hat? I did. And for, uh, hat or hair? Hair. So, so, oh, so maybe like behind it was your hat. Ear. Maybe it was hat. Fucking maybe old Mac- Oh, my God. Maybe I was dressed like Robin Hood. I don't know. I had a feather in my hat. You're and the monkey climbed on nursery rhyme. <laughs> the monkey hey. climbed onto my shoulder, plucked the feather from my hat, yep. and then ran back to the guy. And then I, that was it. How's it with stick a feather in my hat and call me macaroni? macaroni? Yeah. yeah, that's good. We yeah. doing that? Yeah, I was uh, whatever his name is who came to town. Did you get scared when the monkey climbed onto your head or were you just like, this is awesome? I was like, this is sick to have a monkey on me. Oh, my feather. <laughs> <laughs> Did the monkey then put it in behind its ear? No, it gave it to the guy. And the guy just went, I imagine, ho, ho, ho. My feather now. You want Fuck you, little boy. <laughs> you want it back? $20. <laughs> well, I don't know. It was like nothing. We just moved on. He just stole a, fe- a monkey stole a feather from me mm. and then we moved on. But it was not so bad having a monkey on me. <laughs> I've been having And a, if the yeah. monkey wasn't like on a rope, like if I was if you were at a zoo, yeah, and they were like, here's a monkey to meet. Yeah. Okay. And it climbed on your body. Yeah. yeah. I'd be fine. Yeah. I think holding what a monkey are you stressed like, about. Yeah. I don't know. Just like whatever bites your head. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I guess being on my shoulder. I don't know. Okay. What if it shits on my head, I guess? Uh, yeah, I get that. No, fair I enough. Uh, how about this? How about this? Then? Yeah. To help to help me solve crime mm-hmm. or a crime. Uh, so I, I, I stake out maybe, okay. uh, and I, I'm, I'm there. Maybe this is you know day two or whatever. I'm mm-hmm. stinky. Okay, I'm not doing great. Yeah, but like little chimp, he can groom me. Oh, make me presentable. Okay, he's picking the lice <laughs> and the bugs. You have fallen on hard times. <laughs> yeah. uh, and in a way, he's helping me yeah. solve the crime by. Making you presentable? presentable? Yeah. Well, let's explore the, the, the yeah. different ways you could be unhygienic and how a little monkey might help you out. Okay. Stinky underarms. Okay. 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 That's, that's a tricky one. He could rob from the store to get you some deodorant. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, so no I, one's going to stop I, a monkey. Okay, am I yeah. trapped in the car then? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you've become trapped in the car, but the window is down such to such a degree that the monkey can climb out. And my main concern is my sticky piss. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're totally you in the car, and it's getting hot. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The yeah. monkey's also going to bring you food. me in the car, I'll become acclimatized. I'll yeah, become that's used true. to my own um, stank. Well, you probably then need to get the monkey to get you water and food. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Maybe the monkey's the freaking out because like, I'm stinking him out. But yeah. I'm gonna, Oh, the monkey's gonna get stinky. I can't groom a monkey. Yes, what? you can. Why not? Uh, how do I do it? Hey, what I don't know. I reckon monkeys would like well, being combed. Yeah, yeah. But do I have a comb in the car? No. <laughs> do you? No. Well, no, uh, he probably doesn't. Well, if I had a monkey, maybe I would. <laughs> well, what? for combing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <for a> <laughs> I just think, like, if you comb a monkey, like, if you know, just down his head and down his back. I think it would, it would yeah. love it. It would love it. Because it's like, like it's like crushing a horse kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think because the monkey's used to grooming, where it's like a little. Yeah, you know, but if you, it's like it's like mega grooming, <laughs> full body massage for the monkey. Yeah, yeah. Like a, I reckon like you a, should use like a lice heart. comb too. I think it would like that. <laughs> well, you get like a lot hard. Of like a bristle kind of. Oh, yeah. 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 I think the bristle thing would be good on like an orangutan. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe orangutans have a sort of wisdom to them. Maybe yeah. I'll pick an orangutan. And long arms. Because uh, here's, okay, this is how okay. I use the orangutan. So obviously I'm going to look at a crime scene. I look yeah. at the dead body. Mm-hmm. I look at the, everything around it. I look at the house. I'm looking at this with human eyes. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm overthinking it. Mm. I send the orangutan in. Mm. <laughs> I say, use your base animal instincts, <laughs> orangutan. Send the orangutan in, get everyone else to leave and shut the door. <laughs> Yeah. He needs time to figure it out. <laughs> Everyone's like, just hearing him going crazy. <laughs> no, no, no. He's working through it. Sounds like he's throwing stuff. <laughs> he's just picking up the body. 
<laughs> Sounds like he's going crazy in the Jackson. No, 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 no. This no. is his process. This is his process. We're going to go in there and he'll have he's solved a, the crime. He's an artist. <laughs> go in there. See, body's gone. Go in there. Body's gone. Windows open. <laughs> <laughs> he's already on the case, it appears. <laughs> he'll solve it. He found he'll the lead. He'll solve it. I'm going to go uh, <laughs> for another appointment. But, yeah. uh, mm, then you just yeah. hear me peeling out because I've lost my orangutan yeah. and <laughs> well, a dead body. <laughs> Just seeing him just... Oh, Jangles, where are you? <laughs> Whacking it into the ground, tearing it apart. Oh, this is not good. Okay. This okay. is not good. No, another way for an ape to help? Yeah. yeah. Um, interrogation. Oh, okay. Now, may, maybe good I'm... Good cop, bad ape. Yeah. <laughs> scary. Maybe I'm, you know, one of those good cops. Uh, okay. You know, that have, haven't have spoiled the whole sure. apple bunch or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, well, it's very illegal in a crime if I was to say, you know... You know, a cast. Yes, the, the, I see. The suspect. Um, but if I'm there with a big gorilla, yeah, it's it's the implication, absolutely, yeah. that the gorilla is going to tear its face. A off. gorilla is a show of force. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, you know, and, and, and I, you... I'm bound by human law. Exactly. He only the but, law of the jungle. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Him. And like you know, I don't know. He listens to me sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Good cop, ape cop is yeah, what you're doing. Good yeah. cop, ape cop. You go, hey, I'm, hey, man, I'm on your side. Okay, yeah. like, I, I want you yeah. to get out of here. Yeah. But this guy. My partner, he is an actual ape. Yeah, <laughs> this guy is a gorilla. I don't know what he's thinking ever. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't understand. What's going on in his head, dude? <laughs> when, yeah. when they gave me the uh, gorilla as a partner, I thought I thought they were giving me a bit of a break. Yeah. I didn't have a joke. So, like, but no. six weeks on, here I am, still with gorilla partner. Like, I can get you, hey, I can get you, like, a reduced sentence. It's yeah. like, you just got to talk to I me. I need you a Coke. You talk know. to him, he is an actual <laughs> ape. He I don't won't know. understand what you're saying. <laughs> I don't know. And he might hit you in the yeah. head. <laughs> he might hit me in the head. <laughs> we like, don't know. We don't know. That's, that's the dice we roll. Could you gorillas use... punch and kick, or do they prefer to just bite? Uh, the, I... You said that, and I imagined the gorilla doing the Donkey Kong <laughs> kick, where they put both hands on the ground and then kick with their two legs. I, know, I don't think that's I, a real I thing I they do. feel a gorilla... Would, would punch, punch and grab and grasp. Yeah. I can't imagine a gorilla kicking. I have seen a video mm-hmm. of a Jane Goodall type. Though I don't think yeah. it was Jane Goodall. And she's being interviewed and she's surrounded by a bunch of gorillas just mm. hanging out. Yeah. And one of them, as she's like, yeah, the gorillas, they're lovely guys or whatever. And one walks past and she grabs her by the head and pulls her a little bit along mm. and then lets go. And it's kind of like he did it as like a prank. <laughs> <laughs> like there's not as much malice in the situation as you'd think. But Does she get, she scream like yeah, crazy? Yeah, she's like, oh my God, because the gorillas are taking, even though she's friends mm. with the gorillas. Yeah. She's like, oh, it's happened finally. Yeah, the gorillas are taking me away. The gorilla's yeah. going to te- tear off my head. Yeah, but then the yeah. gorilla just lets her go and just chills out or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So. so I've seen another thing, like uh, they're just like a bunch people filming in the jungle and like, yeah. a, bu- a bunch of uh, gorillas are there and like the one of the males looks like, like you know mm. walking around quite close grabs one of them and just kind of gently pulls them oh. like, and they kind of just move but you know he's like act like yeah. he doesn't put any resistance and he just keeps going and it's just like okay it's just there to be like I, I can't fuck you up. I can yeah. destroy you if but I wanted to we're good right yeah I, if you we're bros <laughs> but, but if you fuck with me the implication. The implication. Yeah. It's the implication. Yeah. What if the threat? If I got a gorilla, mm. how, do you think you? Mm. I'm thinking of show, doing a show yeah. of force. Yep. Yeah. Right. So I'm just yeah. be like, if you don't talk to me, we'll fuck you up. Yep. Yeah. But can I have the gorilla fuck me up? Well, <laughs> to I, show what'll happen, we'll do this question, to you. Jackson, because I, 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 I just of googled uh, can gorillas kick, and the first uh, response is, what would happen if you karate kick a gorilla? In the head. Uh, great uh, question. <laughs> great question. And then what would happen if a gorilla punches a human? Also, great question. Mm. So let's click on that. Yeah, okay. that, one's, yeah, yeah. that one's more accurate. That's what we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm wondering, okay, could... Okay. Yeah. Either a fist to the head or hard slap the face would kill you instantly. <laughs> <laughs> um, our neck would That's be like awesome. a small bamboo shoot as it snaps violently. Hey, <laughs> if you fuck with us, we'll do this to you and the gorilla just <laughs> bat my head entirely uh-huh. off. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> Granted, this is someone who, uh, you know, worked with bear and cat rescues or something as a volunteer. So who, who knows exactly? Okay, they're no you know, expert. What the idea saying. of a gorilla slapping your mm. head clean off whilst mm. you're meant to be <laughs> interrogating someone, they would get frightened. Yeah, they'd be like, I'll tell you, don't make the gorilla do that to me. <laughs> oh, another great question. What is more powerful, a horse's kick or a gorilla's punch? It's a vote. Uh, most people going with a horse's kick. I feel like a horse's yeah. kick is stronger. Yeah, a horse's kick. Because you got the whole, like, the, 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 it's the whole horse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the horse's whole horse... kick is 2,000 PSI. Uh, yeah. Uh, gorilla's punch with uh, 1,300 to 2,700 pounds of force. Whoa. So but 
I think uh, I've heard about people getting kicked in the head by a horse and surviving. For reference, an average human Us. punch is weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't we get kicked in the head by a horse? Uh, yeah. I, you're like, you know, it's the only explanation <laughs> I can come up with. Yeah, so humans punch with uh, 60 to 170 uh, PSI. Okay. Okay. 360 yes. to 450 pounds of force. So the, uh, let me just quickly look at a gorilla. 1,300 to 2,700 <laughs> So there's a bit of a of risk with so having a, a gorilla attack the criminals because you can't kill the I mean, well, wait, they kill gorilla. the commissioner's son, yeah. so... The gorilla, we have no... We can't really What are you going to do, what arrest the, the gorilla? No! <laughs> what are you I would never! You're going to tell the gorilla what to do? So, okay, maybe we're using the gorilla to solve the crime. It's not really the crime we're solving, we're just here for revenge. <laughs> okay, uh, can we, to solve the crime, can we instead turn this all around okay. and pin the crime on the gorilla? Oh! oh! Actually, yes. Yeah, I think that is would be it, easy. Yeah. Is it a crime to give a gorilla the chair? <laughs> Giving a gorilla the electric chair. I think it would embody it. Yeah. I think it would just stand up and start walking towards you electrified. <laughs> and you're like, I'm about to get my head electrically <laughs> slapped off my neck. Oh, no. Electric I, punch. We just electrified the gorilla. That's all we've done. How quick did it take Topsy to die? Who's Topsy? The elephant. The, uh, the elephant. I think that was pretty instant. <laughs> they, they use a lot. They use a great yeah, deal of electricity to kill, up, a, kill Topsy. Well, yeah. could we use, yeah. like, say, a more agile, like, say, an orangutan? Yeah. yeah. So, say, we want to search an apartment for evidence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, if we come in through the front door, suspicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if we send Mr. Bojangles, the orangutan, up the side of the building. And in the oh, chimney. And in the chimney. No, <laughs> no suspicion raised. Yeah. I was going I was, I was to say through a window. No, no, no. no we're right. in the chimney Santa style. And we wait till it's Christmas Eve in the hope that a child is yeah, waiting yeah, up yeah. for Santa. We dress Mr. Bojangles up in a Santa suit. It's gonna be good. Oh my god, Father Christmas! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Doing that little chip. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's Watching good. an orangutan slam his hand down on some milk and cookies. Yes. Oh, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Santa, please! I like Just staring upon the present. <laughs> Santa loves my milk and cookies. Have I been a good little child? Can I get a present, Mr. Santa? Claus? I think an orangutan would want to oh. open presents really bad. Yes, if absolutely. Presents just in front of it. That's oh, so funny as well. Yeah. To imagine as a kid. Santa coming down the chimney, just tearing open your present. <laughs> you go, you go to school like in, in the next semester yeah. or whatever. To your classmates, and you're like, I met Santa Claus. <laughs> he is not like how I imagined. <laughs> he is about four foot tall, <laughs> really long arms, very tiny long little arms. feet. Hairy. Hairy. Holds his arms above his head. His flanges. Yeah. Are crazy. He loved to do this. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and when he's not doing that, he's sniffing his fingers. <laughs> and he didn't he didn't leave the house. <laughs> he came down the chimney, but he didn't go back out the chimney. Mum had to get him out with a broom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought this was I thought mummy was gonna kiss Santa Claus, but no. No, oh. she screamed and screamed and screamed. <laughs> and then hit Sandy with a broom. And the, and it seemed like the orangutan got in a man's car. <laughs> <laughs> then he drove away. I think I heard the words, what did you find? <laughs> so I think I think Santa has lost his reindeer yeah. and now has a man in a car. <laughs> a man drives him around. So funny to imagine you said you're an orangutan and he comes back with just a mouth smeared with milk and cookies. <laughs> What'd you find? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think you're not a very good partner, Mr. Bojangles. <laughs> what else do you need for solving a crime? Yeah. Well, I guess like you need to interrogate, like find clues. Well, finding find clues. Clue. Okay. Okay. Interview witness, decide who did it, arrest Look, them. look through yeah. uh, CCTV, yeah. go through cameras. Does an, does an ape have a particularly Canvas good... The, uh, you know, surrounding area. Yeah. I'll ape... take these houses, you take those. <laughs> ape might be good at uh, finding evidence. Like if you get it to sniff some blood and then say, where else is blood? <laughs> Point around. <laughs> you go, sniff some, where else is blood? And it just tears you up. <laughs> In you. Oh fuck. Uh, oh looking. fuck, dude. <laughs> um, okay, but like, because like, is it a, if it's a trained ape? Yeah, yeah. Then yeah, maybe because like we have like uh, bloodhounds and stuff where we get them to sniff an item of clothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then they can seek out a person, or they've just got a great sense of smell. They can find people. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if you can really impart that onto an ape. You know mm. what I mean? I thought apes had really good sense of smell. I don't know. Is it better than a basset hounds or whatever? I doubt that very much. <laughs> it's probably not bad. It probably does the job. Yeah. yeah. But, and can an ape... Um, let's see. Well, mm. all chimpanzees use olfaction as a prime mode of investigation. Oh. Hey! 
clue. Okay. Sniff, 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 clue. Yeah. Sniff, clue, sniff, clue. If, yeah. The problem is, say a dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, the, like we domesticated those guys. Yeah. yeah. So it'll come back to you. Yeah. An ape gets the scent. Well, <laughs> gone, gone. Here's the the headline: is a uh, chimpanzees sniff out strangers and family members. So its own family members or missing family members? I, I believe it would be if I had to take a guess. Its own. Yeah. I can't imagine there's just an ape that smells what gives look, you a sniff yeah. and then. Find your grandma. They recognize yeah. group members and kin. Uh, okay. So I guess they'd be like, oh, yeah, I know that. So, mate, yeah, look, you could be like, this is the the jacket. Yeah. That the, 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 the criminal, the, the perp was wearing. The commissioner child murderer yeah. was yeah. wearing. The commissioner's son, yep. Yeah. yeah. And then they're, they're... Uh, give it a sniff and then go. <laughs> well, yeah. and But then how do you get the chimp when he finds the guy? Well, we've got to follow the chimp. Uh, yeah, we're following the it's chimp. a game of follow the chimp. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Fair. I mean, we probably, yeah, I mean, I was gonna say we could do this with, like, say, a bloodhound, but bloodhound can't, you know, jump over a fence. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's can't true. Can't climb, you know, scale a building. Yeah, Go can't a sit in a tree. Yeah. Can't <laughs> peel its own banana. Right. right. <laughs> um, so you know, what else can a bloodhound do that a chimp can do? Yes, mm. swing through the trees. Right. Yeah. Uh, Amuse me. Amuse. Yeah. Amuse, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> jack off in, at the zoo? No, I reckon a bloodhound. A bloodhound could jack off at the zoo. Yeah. How's a bloodhound jacking off? Like a dog. You ever seen a dog? They stand up and they get their little arms. With their, sort of this. I thought that would just use their like, no. They use their mouth. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think dogs put their front paws. Dogs do. I've seen it. They yeah. put their arms like this. Yeah. They like this. Yeah. Outstretch their arms. Yeah. And, and then, then they jack off their dick. And they're standing yeah. on their hind legs. <laughs> and they jack off That's their little not... dog dick. I think I have seen like a like a little gif or something of one dog just basically a robber rostic himself. <laughs> <laughs> just going to town in his own mouth. Well, they lick their dicks and stuff to clean it yeah. anyway. Yeah. So while you're down there. Might as well. Um, I think a great place for the ape would yep. be because this is we're imagining this is like an eighties nineties movie. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. The end of every one of those eighties nineties movies is like a shootout in a drug den. Yeah, right? that's it'll be like a warehouse somewhere okay. where yeah. some criminals have uh -huh. hit out and they get couches oh. and hammocks and stuff. Doing it's going to be the best for this because the villains, the bad guys, mm -hmm. well, they're never going to suspect a ape with a gun. Correct to, to like. He could shoot with his foot. <laughs> he could be climbing. He was in a warehouse. There's rafters. He could be swinging from them rafters. Two guns in his feet. Two guns in his feet. <laughs> you could theoretically give an ape three guns if yeah. they didn't mind hopping. Yeah, and they wouldn't. <laughs> they could hang from the the rafters with or one something. hand, yep. and then with their other their other three hands. Yeah, uh, they three could hands. You say. Well, their feet are like ha like okay. hand feet. <laughs> yeah, they, that's they, true. That yeah, is that true. Might, you know they what? can shoot you the know. criminals. Yeah. Um, I do like that this <laughs> is ending in just yeah. a full. We're just shooting the criminals. Well, like, yeah. like, you know, the that's an eighties movie. No, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apes good at aim accuracy. I don't think it'll matter. You give the apes Uzis, and right. it, uh, accuracy doesn't matter. You just make sure you stand behind the ape. Here's the problem with the ape Uzi scenario, and I like oh, it. Okay. How do you get the Uzis off the ape at the yeah. end? Also, how like let them keep them. <laughs> ape, do, they're do yours. Ape, Welcome to the force. Love, yeah, we've gi we're giving you a license to kill. <laughs> do, do ape love to test? You know how like um, you know sharks. For I do know sharks. Uh, they like to test things yeah. by biting. Oh no. Do, do, do apes do the same? I ape? reckon probably. And so you're imagining you give the oh, ape a gun, you they send it in there, you hear a the gun, gun. Got one <laughs> shot, you're like, oh, actually, uh, wait. <laughs> the ape has shot himself. Like, yeah. like, a, like a Daffy Duck kind of walk. The ape shot his mouth like, around in the back around, of his head. Being like, what's this do? <laughs> uh, it was ape season. Maybe we better give the ape a sword, though. <laughs> Whoa, knife ape! <laughs> yeah. ah. I bet, I mean, so, you know, you can throw a knife. Yeah. Mm. An ape throwing a knife with the strength of an ape? Mm. It wouldn't stick through you, it would go straight through Yeah, the hilt would be going <laughs> Your own head. <laughs> it wouldn't matter which part of the knife hits you. <laughs> no, exactly. you're dead. You're a dead man. That's that's a uh, ape killed you. What, what about this? This is an important part uh -huh. of the ape scenario, uh, and or the, and the the '90s '80s crime movie yep. scenario. Yeah, a certain kind anyway. The kind that would involve an animal companion. Uh, the final couple of scenes where we're at a resort. Yep. Oh. And something funny happens with the animal companion. And we say, Mr. Bojangles, you're a real son of a bitch. I reckon Mr. Bojangles is smoking a cigar and slaps someone's ass as they yes. walk past the swing Mr. Suit. Bojangles, is, it's me and Mr. Bojangles. I'll have the orangutan Mr. Bojangles, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or it's all of the Bojangles. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, an orangutan, a gorilla, a capuchin, a chimpanzee, and a sexy lady walks by with our drinks. Mm -hmm. And all of us are like, whoa! Glasses Mr. They've down. all got sunglasses. Yeah, oh, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. And we're all looking. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's the ending of the movie. Uh, yeah, no, that a sexy lady walks past, we go, oh, but then a sexy chimp walks yes! past in like a little bikini, and then yeah, Bojangles yeah. like, oh, Whoa! Mr. Bojangles, you are a son of a bitch, Mr. Mr. Bojangles. <laughs> I think this could be the best summer ever. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bojangles, you are in courage. <laughs> so, yeah, I think actually an ape wouldn't be... I'm just Provided wondering... you know how to solve a case, the ape doesn't really hinder you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, I, I guess maybe the ape doesn't help, but maybe it hinders, and I guess really it's less about the ape and more just you. Yeah. You. Now, the ape, ape is just also there. I guess if I was to help solve a crime, I would fulfill the ape role. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'd be just like, oh, yeah. I'd be more annoying than the Do ape. you think? I don't think Let me in the room with the body. <laughs> Come on. Let me touch it. I got a stick. I can poke it, right? <laughs> Their clues are always in the mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, what were you imagining? I was eating the guy? No, just like putting your hand oh, in oh. his... I thought that was like, it's always in the mouth. Oh, and I put his hand in my mouth. <laughs> oh, wait, what? I got a taste for oh, clues. No. Oh, no. I swallowed his ring. Is that a problem? No, um, no that's a souvenir. Yeah. yeah. Of your very first case. I don't think we would be as good as an ape. I think uh, uh, to help a detective, okay, I don't yeah. think we could do it as well. Yeah, okay. Ask via de- like a, 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 a ape, yeah. a detective with an ape. I feel... Um, yeah, we would hinder it more. Yeah, oh, yeah. significantly more. Because mm. the ape's just chilling and putting its hands up and sniffing its finger and whatever. We're talking. We're asking for the sirens yeah, to be yeah. put on. Plus, well, like, can I drive? we get frightened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They fire the gun. I'm running. Yeah. <laughs> I'm catching a bus. <laughs> I'm out of there. The police captain or the police party have got to chase the next, chase, chasing the bucks. He's chasing the bus next to you, yeah. just banging on the door, being like, what? get off the no, damn bus! No, no, you shot that gun! <laughs> I'm scared! Why are you doing it again? You've got a gun too! Get off oh, the fuck. bus! <laughs> Throwing the bus out the window. <laughs> Throwing the bus out the window! <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> You've killed your partner! I threw the bus out the window, and now I'm hovering in empty space, and then I land With on the... With a gun? <laughs> I land on the ground. A <laughs> gun got used. Fire the gun here, yeah. get spooked, drop it, run, uh, run away. This is yeah. the worst first day ever. <laughs> yeah. Because at least a gorilla is intimidating. Yeah. yeah. You know, like at a, at a bare minimum, yeah. a criminal won't want to fuck with you if you have a gorilla. Yeah. It's uh, got the element of surprise. Not necessarily that a gorilla is like stealthy, but more just it like you're not expecting to see a gorilla. <laughs> no one's expecting yeah. Well, I get a knock at the door and it's a cop. I'm like, Ugh, yeah, this is annoying. But what I get do a, you want? Yeah. Not, yeah. Uh, but I open the door and there's a gorilla and a cop. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. I yeah. think there's a five minute window of me seeing that where the cop could ask me anything <laughs> and I would answer truthfully just because I'm in a daze. From- seeing a cop and a gorilla is a real life truth serum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think if a cop opened the door and he had a gorilla behind him, my first thought would be he's going to ask me if that's my gorilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he's camping. You found my, go- my gorilla. You mean my partner? Oh, uh, uh, yes. sorry, misunderstood. I've lost my Do gorilla. Do you have a gorilla? <laughs> y- yes. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> what? Mm, what did you want again, <laughs> officer? Yes. So, look, I th- hey, a gorilla would be great, or an ape of any kind would be yeah. great for helping you solve it. Oh, problem. absolutely. And it's a brilliant question. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> one, one of the, the best. best. One of the best one plumbing best. questions we've ever done, yeah. I would say. How yeah. would you use an... How would you use an ape to solve a crime? Yeah. Well, uh, quite easily, actually. Yeah. yeah. And great question. I yeah. think history will show this was when we peaked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's happening. We should yeah. bask in it. Yeah. Because it's all downhill from here. Oh, it's nice. Feels nice. good. Whoa. Feels yeah. good to be back on top. Absolutely. I know that note. I've been Joe. I've been Jackson. I've also been Joe. Let us know. How would you use an ape to help you solve a crime? Mm. Did yeah. we miss anything? Yeah, okay. We forgot to disguise the ape. <laughs> As <laughs> oh. a sexy lady. Oh, gotta do oh, that. Oh, honeypot. Honeypot oh, ape. Honeypot ape. Honeypot ape. Fuck my life. God, that's the easiest way to use an ape to solve a crime. Oh, uh, everyone wants to fuck a sexy ape. God, we're fucking stupid. Dumbest. <sighs> Cunts in the realm. Fuck. <laughs>